Hello again everybody, welcome to this test flight preview series in the MiG-21 fish bed. And I just finished up in the last video some air-to-air -air employment using semi-active radar homing uh, techniques and missiles and using the radar. Now I've got the infrared guided missiles selected. I reloaded the mission with R-60 IR guided missiles and I think I might have figured out what I was doing wrong the first time. I think I was just misinterpreting what this station selector dial was telling me and what station was what when it came to where the missiles were on the aircraft. I'm not sure of that. It's a very, very much a pre-release version. It might have just been a little bit of, bit of a glitch. But okay, I was right. I mean, you don't have to have a radar lock, but okay, air, IR, launcher, up and up. Now all I have to do is maneuver the aircraft so that I get a lock on the target. Okay, and launch the missile. Okay, so missile away, and it is guiding, and it just impacted the target. So that is all there is to IR guided missile employment. Can we come around one more time? I'll just set up in a little bit of a uh, longer range and a little bit of a better shot on this guy. And then I think I'll still have one up in the air that I can employ the gun on if I can find it. Uh, yeah, somewhere out there. Okay, so now coming around on this guy. Let me just see if I can set up and take like a higher deflection angle shot on this one. I'm not sure if the R60 that we have modeled is all aspect, all aspect or just rear only. We'll find out. Okay, so yeah, apparently rear aspect only. Okay, so let me go ahead and see if I can maneuver for a shot. Just waiting for the lock and the tone. Should be coming up any time now. Oh, I need to select the station. This is going to take a lot of getting used to. Okay, so station three selected. And yeah, overshoot. So yeah, a lot of manual stuff that has to happen when employing the weapons. You know, it's not going to automatically step to the next station for you like I'm so used to. And that's what this test flight series is all about. And please, please, for the love of God, do not take these to be tutorials. Those are coming up later in the On the Range series. These are gameplay videos. That's why I start from the beginning and go through all the process. This is just me learning the aircraft, so I am going to do stuff wrong. Don't take this to be the way to do it. Okay, so let me come back around and try to pick this target up again and take that IR shot and then move on to guns. I'll be right back. Okay, radar contact. So I know that they're, geez, they're close range. Let me go ahead and pull the throttle back in and start looking for these guys visually. Okay, gotcha. Right there, just above the horizon. Okay, let me go ahead and maneuver for a shot. Okay, throttle up. Okay, not, not much range out of these. Okay, lock. I'm going to take that to be within range. And I'm going to take this shot. Long range. I'm not expecting this to hit, though. Let me just see how much range I can get out of this guy. And against a non-maneuvering target, of course, this is much easier than it would be against a uh, uh, enemy putting up any kind of a defense whatsoever. Okay, so uh, there you go. The I guess the theoretical range is about the <laughs> range that you could expect to get a lock, in this case at least. Okay, so now let me go ahead and take this guy out with gun. So I'll try to keep him in sight, but I need to go to gun. I need to go to gyro on that selector. Now I have the gun side free-floating up there. And let's see here, where'd you go? Okay, I know you're right out there in front of me somewhere. Yeah, I'll come back when I uh, when I find this guy again. See you in a sec. Oh yeah, well, uh, uh, there he was. He was right there below me. I, that was like a three second pause there. Okay, so coming around, let me push the throttle up again, and uh, see if I can make this work. Okay, I'm a little bit too slow, and I'm maneuvering a little bit too aggressively. Okay, so okay, that was a good uh, that was a good setup. Let me come back down around a little bit and see what I missed on the the actual switchology there. Okay, so I missed something obviously. Okay, gun. Okay, IR air. Huh, I'll have to think about this for a second and see what I did miss. I have no idea. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I had visual on the target again, and what I was forgetting is that I needed to charge the gun. And there's a pyrotechnic device built into this gun, so I just hit the first switch. 
It fires the pyro, and now the gun is charged and armed. And speaking for those who uh, used to work on gun systems and maintain armor systems for a living, that's insane to have a pyrotechnic charge as part of your gun system. What, what kind of craziness is this? But okay, that's how you do it. And if I do get a jam, I have two more charges that I can use to attempt to clear the jam. Okay, so let me go ahead and maneuver into a firing position on this guy. I've got the wingspan set, and I believe if I... I don't know, let me try this. It's just a theory. I believe I can put it into narrow beam, and it will give me updates on range automatically. I, I'm probably much mistaken there. Let me just take this shot. Maybe I, maybe I need an actual radar lock. Okay, so that's about right. Let me go ahead and bring it up a touch. Okay, yeah, uh, that's basic. Uh, that's basic gun employment right there. So, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I'm not sure. I suspect that I did miss something there that I'll pick up in the uh, later series, and especially for the on the range tutorial when it came to getting the automatic updates on the range and automatic uh, updates on the target size and range there. So I have a little bit better uh, indication of where to point, but. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my radar off. I think I left it, might have uh, been on the upper limit of the amount of time that I could leave that on before it starts to overheat. And let me just go ahead and set up for an approach and landing at Sanaki Koki, which is right out here in front of my nose. And I'll call this one good and move on to some air to ground employment. Uh, maybe a couple of missions. I think one mission just devoted to bombs. And I actually know it'll probably be more like. A Maybe two or three missions. Bombs, rockets, uh, bombs, rockets, guns, and then the KH-66 uh, beam rider, air-to-ground missile. Okay, so, <laughs> Snaki Kolki, where are you? And this is, yeah, right there off my nose. And this is the phase where I would start to get into uh, navigation in the real test flight series. I might not even call this series test flight. This just feels, this is not how I learn aircraft, by the way. This is um, completely... Uh, yeah, completely not the way that I do things. But this is just a preview. Okay, so let me go ahead and start to turn some stuff off that I don't need. Let me go ahead and kill my armament switches. A okay, gun, side, camera. I never turned my camera on for some reason. Oh, well. And, okay, I can leave it as is for now. And go ahead and call, uh, let me see, I was on channel 13 before, I believe. Let me call Sanaki Kolki and... Uh, tell him I'm coming. So, ATC. Oh, uh, let me see. Col uh, huh. For some reason, I don't have it as a... Wait a minute, what, what is this place called? It's not... It's, no, it's Snocky Kolki. It should be... There. For some reason, it is not. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to... Hit that in the next part of the series. So, okay, I'll just set up and uh, fly straight in from this opposite direction and then park taxi back to my parking location, which was right there. Okay, so thinking about airspeeds, I wanted 500 kph. That's where I initially set up gear down and flaps intermediate, 380 full flaps. About 360 to 340 on the threshold, touchdown, 320, deploy the drogue, and then just go from there. It's pretty, pretty standard. Okay, so I'm just going to take it out here, turn left twice, and be set up. And I want to make sure that I maintain altitude. And like I noted during the video dedicated to, or videos dedicated to landing, that, yeah, keeping track of vertical velocity is not difficult, but it's just different since I don't have a total velocity vector up there like I'm kind of used to by now. And you just get, you know, different, especially with this being a delta wing aircraft, it, the angle of attack, AOA that you get, is uh, generally going to be higher for any given regime of flight. And that's a very, very general statement, but you know what I mean. Don't nitpick me too much, please. Okay, so let me go there. Go ahead and uh, kill the rest of this airspeed. Get below 500 kph. I might have been saying knots before, but yeah, obviously kph. 
And, yep, again, I need to bring the nose up. Let me go with some nose up trim. Okay, 550. Okay, 500. Let me go gear down. So that's unlock, right click. Okay, gear down, flaps, intermediate. Okay, 400. So 380. I can go full flaps. Okay, and I've got three green, and I'll get my full flaps down indication here momentarily, I'm sure. You push it up just a touch. 340, I need a 380. And that is full flaps confirmed. Okay, let me just keep the nose up and turn to final. Okay, 350, that's not bad. I'll take that. I want 380. So let me just keep the throttle plugged in a little bit more. Okay, yeah, still stuck at 350. Okay, I need more throttle in. Uh, let me go ahead and go full. Okay, that's more like it. Now, <laughs> let me just kind of uh, concentrate on this approach here. Okay, a little right of center line. And bring it on over, and I've got to remember to keep the nose up. Okay, good approach speed. Let me just kind of sit up in my seat real quick. Okay, I need to level up here. I'm descending a little bit too quickly. So, more throttle. A little aft stick. Yeah, I'm just uh, way too shallow, like I, I mean, like, like I described, I just, yeah, just overestimated how, or underestimated how quickly I was descending back there. Okay, so this will be okay, let me just kind of bump the nose down, okay, a little right of center line. Okay, let me plug in a little bit of nose down trim. And now that's about right, now let me go ahead and pull the throttle in and get her set up on a, a better glide slope here. Okay, 350, a little throttle. Descending a little bit too steeply, throttle up. Okay, that's better. 380, 370. Okay, much better. Okay, this is gonna be okay. Uh, 360, let me go ahead and pull the throttle in. Okay, idle. Touchdown, oh my god, I was too, too far nose up. Let's see if this is going to be controllable. Okay, let me deploy the drogue in any case. Okay, I was just, I just had too much AOA on the aircraft. I have, boy, I have not, that's the, probably the first time in like two or three years I've done this on a landing. I think I collapsed the left main gear. Yeah, main, uh, lift main gear collapsed on me. I'll, oh, okay, I'll, uh, let me see if I can get on the brakes. I'm just going to leave it right here on the end of the runway. And I'll have some fire trucks coming out. And, okay, let me think about a ground egress here. Okay, so let me depressurize and unlock the canopy. Okay, I'm just going to take it to idle, cut off. I still haven't figured out exactly how to get this canopy open. I'll get that later on. I might have just needed to do it before I killed the engine. Oh well, I'm not that worried about it. There's got to be something here that I'm just missing to actually push this thing open. But, uh... Okay, yeah, not, not your standard mission by any means, but okay, everything is, uh... Actually, yeah, let me just go battery off and I'll... Uh, go through, okay, right now I would just be ground egressing if I had my canopy open, of course. But, um, yeah, uh, that's frustrating. Okay, yeah, it was just too, uh, t got too shallow, and I had to have too much AOA on the aircraft over the threshold. I was just too slow is what that comes down to. I hit a little bit firm, <laughs> I hit a lot firm, collapsed the main gear. I did, I'll give myself credit there, I did uh, do a fairly decent job of keeping it on the runway, keeping my head about me, and getting that drogue shoot out to slow me down and drogue shoot, drag shoot, it's it's all the same thing depending on what aircraft you're talking about doesn't really matter what you call any of these things but uh, yeah, that's air to air employment plus a little bit of a shenanigans on the landing but okay, I'll come back next time with air to ground so hey, thanks again for watching yeah, sorry about the performance this time but um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get it together so I hope you are enjoying this and I will see you next time